Uh, I'm going to do a short video for you on rowing and rowing technique. If you're watching this video, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. It'd be fantastic to sort of uh, hear your journey along fitness. With routines of exercises and routines of whatever choice you really do, um, I'm going to try and cover as broad a range as possible, but I'm going to keep everything really simple because I'm a simple guy. Fitness is very simple. Um, I'm not going to say anything about any other personal trainer or coach on my YouTube. We all have our own individual styles. Um, I just like mine to be simple. I don't see why there's any point in trying to sound clever or different or new because it's not really anything new. So, <clears throat> uh, rowing. Three points to take note of. One is you've got to have good form. You've got to drive your legs. Two, you've got to have good timing and that's really easy. Watch your meterage on the console and try and row every 10 meters. It's a really good way of just gauging your row. And three, your draft. So first things first, your technique. Let's work on that one first. Feet go in the straps, make sure they're below the toe line. So your, your feet aren't, your, your toes aren't cramped in. The strap comes below the toe line. In position, knees are between the elbows. Hands are nicely gripped, they're not a white rock or ride, not riding a Ducati or anything. You just nice and loose gripped and hook the hands over. When you accelerate backwards, drive back in one and then you come back in on a free count and that includes a backstop. Okay, so it should look like. You're looking for a really good positive drive. You're looking to get a nice acceleration, nice and smooth, not jerky, and really extend the legs. Finish the bar in the midline of the body. Not by your chin, not down by your crotch, midline of the body. Count out one, and then watch your timer, and then come back in again for 10 meters. So drive out, one, two, three. Drive out, one, two, three. Get a nice rhythm. Accelerate backwards, bar over, bar back over the knees, and then back in your start position. For your measurements, I'll show you real quick. So the meterage and your split. The meterage, try and work on 10 meters. So basically, what that means is um, you're going to row, and every 10 meters, you're going to hit your stroke. So you drive out on 10. You drive out on zero. As you come back in again, you hit 10, you drive out. Okay? And it will just hold your pace at a nice, sensible level. Don't try and like speed your arms or do a half row. Make sure you really extend back and drive your legs back. Next one, 500 split. Okay, this one here. That one, you need to keep nice and consistent. Don't panic about if it's going up and down. Just try and get it as consistent as you can. What I try and work with people when I'm training people is I try and get most of them to do 2,000 meters in under 10 minutes. And that just gives you a gauge of where your fitness is. That's really all it's for. Some people will do it under eight, some people can do it under seven, some people can take longer. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're doing the effort, you're putting in the activity to get the results. And thirdly was your draft. So, draft. Okay, ideally you want to be around five, six, and seven because that's the, the best training zone for most people. One to four is very light use, so that will be if you're doing to do quite long distance for the first time and you're building your conditioning up. And seven, eight, nine, ten, probably more for sprint effort or short distance efforts. Ten, I'd probably say would be 100 meters to 200 meters most for good people to get a good standard of times. Some can do it faster, some can do it more often, I know. This is a, for most people who go to the gym who just want to improve their weight loss and their activity levels. If you can row two to three times a week, and let's say you average 2,000 meters every time you row, you're gonna get fitter. Guarantee it, I promise. Um, 
If you consistently do that and you consistently row at 2,000 meters and you're getting quicker and you're trying harder, so you're doing a 930, you've only started getting down below 930s, then you're going to get better and your fitness is going to improve and you're going to start losing weight as well because that's the ultimate goal for most people. Just want to be healthy and we don't want to be complicated. It doesn't have to be unnecessarily long words. So if you like the video, subscribe. Um, all my contents to be really simple. It'll be broken down into its simplest format and I will give you the best factual information. I'm not here to sound clever. I'm really not because there's no point. I'm just here to serve you and to give you really good advice to help you get active and help you get to where your goals are. Take care and I'll hopefully see you again. Bye-bye.